morning everybody, happy Thursday. I have been to the gym bright and early this morning, had a really good session. I'm just making my coffee, had a shower. <clears throat> it's the time, 20 to seven. I got back just after six. It is so, so dark. It's like pitch black out there, still. <sighs> Winter is upon us. You get this coffee in me. So I'm meeting my friends today. We're going to Long Down Dairy Farm. It's basically just all the boys. My friend actually has a little girl and a boy, um, but Millie started school. Um, she is a month older than Miles. She, she's one of the youngest going into year R. And um, yeah, so she's bringing her little boy who's only like 18 months old. And then my friend's got a little boy Jensen, who's literally just turned three. So Miles gonna be the oldest. And I'm um, not three. I'm the biggest. And how how old are you? Jensen is not a biggest. Jensen's three now. But how old are you? Four. I'm big. You are big. Yeah. Not so Jensen. Jensen's literally a year younger than Miles. No, Jensen's <clears throat> not big. Because he's he's a little boy, isn't he? He's younger than you. We're gonna see Jack today. Yeah, about 18 to 20 months. Uh, yeah, that is plan for today. I'm actually going to drop the kids off at school, go straight to my mum's. I've got a couple of um, parcels to pick up and obviously just have a little catch up. And then we're meeting at Long Down Dairy Farm for about 10, half 10. So yeah, that's the plan. I need to make pet lunches. Just walk in the doggies. Obviously, I'm not coming back after a school run, so I need to get them out. Um, I'll probably let the turkeys out as well early. I've dried my hair at like, you know, it's like 80%. It's nearly there, so I'm going to try and blitz it again. It's just at the root, really. Oh, put a bit of makeup on. Let me just, I'll feel a bit nicer. Crazy dog, where are you going? Are like you going back home? <laughs> got a delivery coming this morning and you know when they just it's like no warning like of all days I'm actually out for today I don't know if they're gonna leave it on my porch I'm hoping they will but you know what I mean like some delivery drivers just won't do it um, it's not an Amazon order I've actually ordered a few bits from B&Q Violet for her birthday it's on the 30th of this month she wants her room made over so I've ordered a few things from B&Q like some wallpaper um, that she kind of picked out and I've ordered her a new sideboard unit um, so I don't actually know what exactly is coming whether it's just I think it might be just wallpaper but anyway I'm hoping they're just gonna leave it at the door. Hi everyone so I've done the school run and we are headed over the forest to my mum's it's like half past eight. <laughs> I feel a bit bad turning up early, this early, on our day off. But um, yeah, she knows we're coming. Um, yeah, the kids went off fine. I was flapping a little bit this morning. You know, it's like, it's just, you feel like you've got loads of time, especially because I've been up since like stupid o'clock. But for some reason, like we're still like rushing to get out of the house. Also, I was saying about my delivery, um, he literally turned up as I was leaving, so it was perfect. I didn't miss my delivery. It's actually Violet's sideboard that has, like, chest of drawers unit thing that has um, arrived. So I'm excited for that. And um, I probably won't get Graham to put it up till probably Monday or Sunday. Bit of a quieter day. Um, but yeah, there's obviously, there's other bits that she wants done to her room. She basically just wants to get rid of the girliness, the pink, the mauve, the flowers. Like, she just wants to go all boring. And um, I don't know, it's just that age, isn't it? She's just, she's just growing up and growing out of the girliness. So yeah, I have a few ideas for her room. Not going over the top, but just tweaking a few bits. Her sort of feature wall at the moment is like that mauvey colour so we're just going to obviously paper over it get her a new rug she wants a new um, 
like she's got a desk which is perfect for a desk slash like vanity but she wants like a big light up mirror so I'm, I'm trying to like look for a decent size one a lot of them are really small I want to get her a nice big one you know but anyway yeah heading over the forest it's starting to spit which is kind of annoying because I've been flapping I did not pack any rain stuff because I, I'm sure it's not supposed to rain today. So I'm really hoping this is just a little blip in the air. Let's see if he feeds the calves. Last time we were here, he wouldn't do it. He wants to, he seems excited. Don't do that, you're teasing. He's so cute, such a cute goose. <coughs> Good job, Miles. Doing a spot of golf. We did this last time. It is fun, but it's, yeah, it's just a bit fun, isn't it? But it's tricky. <laughs> it's going to go into the bucket. And you never get it. Yeah, because we're going to feed the goats now. Say bye, Bull. Remember, yeah, got to put it up. Yeah. Thank you very much. Look at their tails go. <laughs> so cute. Lots of chickies again. And their feathers in. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to wake the pigs up. Chicky, chicky. Ah. Oh. Baby. We're just waiting for the tractor. Can you see it's over there? Tractor ride. We'll go on that in a minute. Not on. You on? Ready? Not yet. Get ready. <laughs> okay, we are literally just leaving. We had a really good day. Did you have a good day, Munch? Yeah, it's really good. It's so nice in there because they just, you can just be so hands on with a lot of the animals and feed them and stuff. And it just, I don't know, it makes it more of a good experience for me as well, you know? Um, so we had our lunch there. It is half past one. It's getting a bit cold actually. <clears throat> it, it's very cloudy. It looks like it's going to like, there's like a storm brewing, that's what it kind of looks like. It was really nice to catch up with friends, wasn't it? With Jensen and Jack. Yeah. I'm actually seeing my friends child free on Sunday. We're going for brunch or breakfast, 10 a.m. Which I'm looking forward to because you know what it's like when you've got kids, like when you're out actually meeting your friends, you don't, one's going that way, one's going that way. We're literally trying to have a conversation, like a three conversation, and it just goes to literally nowhere. Um, but that's what it's like when you've got little kids going one off in di off different directions. But yeah, we're heading home now anyway. Right, we're home from the school run. I am tired. All the fresh air, lots of walking. I don't know, I just feel absolutely wiped. <laughs> Um, bit of driving as well. A cup of tea is needed. I don't even know what I'm doing for dinner tonight. I just I don't know what it is. When it comes to Thursday, I think I said it before, I just lose it when it comes to cooking. Like I'm just I'm over it, you know? I do three good meals, we win Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's 
some good meals and then I'm like, me. Don't know what to get. What should we have for dinner tonight, Miles? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I usually, I do do pizza sometimes. I lick this off. Finally put lip balm on you. <laughs> I lick it off. Oh, that is, oh, you got juicy lips. Juicy. Yeah, you can wipe it off, babe. Poor guy. That's what happens when you've got a big sister. Nay. Cover you, paint your nails, cover you in all sorts, don't she? Mm -hmm. Right, I found these in the freezer. We've got pork and watercress. I already took them out about an hour ago. We've got pork best and we've got lamb with minted pea, which is one of my absolute favourites. So I'm actually going to put these on the tray. There we go. Right, it's dinner. Pretty sky tonight. Another one. Come on. Walking in before it gets dark. <laughs> it's not fun walking in the dark. I'm definitely telling you that. I think they appreciated the, the glow in the dark collars though, because they could actually obviously visi visibly see each other. And Henry and Chewy do like to like stay together quite a lot. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, okay, just stay with me most of the time. But yeah, Miles isn't in bed yet. It's not quite seven o'clock. But yeah, not really going to do much else for the evening, just chill, I'm just, I'm tired. I think getting up at, you know, doing a 4 a.m., 4.30 get up this morning really hit me this afternoon. Um, but we had a really good day, Miles was so good. He loves doing that sort of thing, he loves going out and I don't really take him out that much, which I feel guilty about. But, to be fair, if I give him the option of do you want to go out or do you want to stay at home? He always chooses to stay at home and I think it's because he is out of the house a lot. And he just loves obviously playing with his toys and to be perfectly honest, it is so much easier sometimes just staying at home. We watched the second episode of The Bake Off last night and I don't know about you, but like I feel like they are all so good. Like, the very minimal disasters like they've done some serious practicing compared to like previous years that I've watched because yeah, they're just all so good. I just don't really know. Usually there's always like a, a couple that are just so good and then a couple that are really, really crap and you, you can literally work out like which ones are gonna go each week. But honestly, it's just, yeah, it's just such a high standard. I'm actually gonna do another early gym session tomorrow get it done last one of the week um since obviously i'm actually i never go to the gym on saturday very very rarely and then sunday if i do go it will just be a little bit later anyway i'll just you know sundays are for like rest days really so yeah i'm definitely going to get my ass up get everything prepped i always find that is the most important thing if i'm going to the gym or i have to get up at half past four I just prep everything so get all your clothes out I literally have like one of those sensor lights in the ensuite so I don't have to flick on the big light so I can put my contact lenses in and just you know what I mean just get everything get my watch on yeah get my bag ready by the door of my shoes and hopefully not disturb anybody and I don't usually to be fair what have you got in your mouth honestly what is it What it? Oh my god, don't tell me that sheep poo. You are revolting. Where's that naughty boy? <gasps> you! You little terror. You know you shouldn't have been in there. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> Terrors. Does anyone else's husband put the sport on and then leave the room? He's currently reading his we kind of take it in terms of reading to miles um so it's his night tonight so i'm just scouring to see what we're going to watch tonight 
although he's got to go back out. And I've been watching Beckham, actually. I think I'm on the third episode. It's okay. I kind of get... A, obviously, like, I'm not into football, so, like, I do skip through the footbilly bits a little bit. Oh, Race Across the World. Yeah, that is what we're going to watch tonight. Episode three. Let me know if you're watching it. Thoroughly enjoy it.